Hey y'all, Chelsea and Danny here. Enjoy this episode of Today's Homeowner here on YouTube. No, this isn't a mega home center, it's the National Hardware Show, and we're about to look at some cool stuff you can use at your home. Today's Homeowner with Danny Lipford. Real projects for real homeowners with real solutions. Information and inspiration on improving your home from professional remodeler Danny Lipford. Usually when you go to the home center or decorating center or hardware store, you're right in the middle of a project at your home and you're going to the store for that specific reason. So you probably don't have enough time to browse around and see some of the cool gadgets and neat tools that are available to make your project go a little easier. Well this week we're at the National Hardware Show in Chicago where there's over 3,000 exhibitors in this building with anything you can imagine for your home or your garden. Now we can't squeeze all of it in the next 30 minutes, but we can really show you a lot of the highlights. Now this show is not open to the general public, only industry professionals. So get ready for a whirlwind tour. Welcome back. As I mentioned earlier, we're at the National Hardware Show in Chicago. Now even though they call it a hardware show, there's a lot more here than just nuts, bolts, and tools. Interior remodeling and decorating is big on most homeowners' list, and they make a big deal of it here too. These aisles are filled with almost any and everything for improving the inside of your home. Some, like these hand-painted toilet seats, are purely whimsical to add a little character to your bath while others are more practical, like the safety substitute for glass. It's used in picture frames and mirrors because it's not only break resistant, but optically superior to plexiglass. Now for the perfect combination of form and function, these resin planners feature great decorator colors and eclectic shapes, plus an important functional design. The biggest problem that homeowners have with having plants, be it flowers or green plants, is the fact of how much to water and more plants are killed by overwatering than anything else. And we have a patented system that allows plants to get a perfect balance of oxygen and water. So our planters uh, have a controlled watering system. And what that is, is inside the planter, there is a plate with columns that when there's soil, the, there's capillary action, the roots drink up what they want and there's this hole on the side. So what happens is you have a water reservoir, but you also have an area for oxygen. So your plants can't be overwatered. Um, you can always underwater if you never put any water in, but it certainly solves the overwatering problem, and it's great for um, both indoor and outdoor plants. Painting and decorating are projects that many homeowners try themselves. And there's a lot of products here that are designed to make those projects go a lot easier. Geomask is a great example of that. It's a masking tape applicator that simplifies the tedious job of masking off trim for painting. And the special design allows you to do a better job than you could taping by hand. To simplify the painting itself, there are sprayers, power rollers, and even a new generation of paint cans. Well, anyone who's ever used a traditional metal paint can before probably has one that looks a lot like this sitting in their basement. And what frustrates most people about it is the fact that, first of all, you've got to carry it by a metal hanger that cuts into your hands when it's full. You've got to get a tool to open it. You know, when you go to actually pour the paint into the tray, ends up all over the front of the can. You can see this one's been used a few times. And then when you're done with it at the end uh, of your project, you gotta get a rag, cover it up, and another tool, a hammer, to close it. And then when you go to store it, you know, there's no guarantee that it's gonna have an airtight seal uh, or that you'll even be able to get it open again uh, once you want to touch up uh, with the metal paint can. What we're doing is introducing the Dutch Boy Twist and Pour paint container, which is a solution to all those problems. First of all, it's got an integrated handle as part of its body. It's really easy to hold. To open it, no tools required. Just simply unscrew the lid. When you pour it, it's got a virtually drip-free spout. And then when it comes time to close it back up when you're done working, literally just screw the lid back on. It's plastic, so it's recyclable. 
Uh, it won't dent if you drop it. It can't rust. Uh, and they've get, there's a ring underneath so that you can stack them really easily and they all store one on top of the other. If the paint container can be easier to use, then why not the roller tray as well? Well, one of the things we always like to do is end up with developing products that really make decorating easier for everybody. Our Golden Harvest brand, that's our motto, is making decorating easier. And what we felt was is a lot of you know, homeowners, for example, they're in the middle of painting a room and the little guy's got to go off to the soccer game, so what are you going to do? It's going to take you maybe an hour, hour and a half to get back to the job. Or, you know, Sunday night comes and the job's a little bit longer than you thought. We figured this way you can close your paint tray and then you come back to it a week or two later when you've got some time to finish the job. Cleaning the paint roller is considered one of the worst things about painting, so we really feel like we've eliminated it. At the end of the day, you can clean out the paint tray or you can actually throw it out. It's that inexpensive. If that makes painting too simple for you, there are a huge variety of tools for faux finishing. We even found a product to carry that look to the floor. Skimstone is a cement-based product that's trowel applied to achieve a textured surface that can be layered with different shades to create some very unique floors. Sealers are applied over the surface to preserve the finish. Though it was designed primarily as a coating for concrete floors, the system also works well for walls and other surfaces. Next, our simple solutions. Get ready to review your fix-it list as Danny and home repair expert Joe Truini show you this week's simple solution. One of the most neglected tasks around the home is cleaning gutters because you either have to get a ladder or get on the roof itself to really clean those gutters. You'd think so, Danny, but here's a way I found of cleaning gutters without using a ladder or climbing on the roof. You can do the whole job safely just from the ground. What I fabricated here was a little gutter sprayer using some PVC pipe. What I did is I took a length of half-inch pipe and I cut a couple of short sections and used elbows and some PVC cement to form this U-shaped section. And I see you drilled a few holes there in the cap. Yeah, this is a solid cap. I again glued down with the cement and drilled the three eighth-inch diameter holes. Okay. And I take a look at this end of the pipe where I hooked it up to the hose. I just, again, bought a threaded fitting and used the cement to stick it onto the pipe. And then I got a little shutoff valve so I can turn the water on and off from here instead of running back to the house. Yeah, that's great. Now, this is uh, kind of set up for a, a lower roof like this, yeah, but I guess, you could, I guess so. you could uh, really use the same principle for a two-story house. Yeah, just I would just buy another length of pipe. This comes in 10-foot lengths. Okay. And you use a little coupling, glue on another length of pipe, you could easily reach a yeah. uh, second-story roof. But now what about the pressure with just three small holes? Is that enough pressure really yeah, to do any be, job? Yeah, you'd be surprised. Stand back. I'll show you. I'll huh. turn this on, and you get quite a bit of pressure. Let's, here we go. And all you need to do is hook it into the gutter, turn it on, and then slowly move your way down the gutter to spray off all the dirt. Now this show is just tremendous in size and so many different booths. But one of the things I particularly like, many of the booths actually have demonstrations taking place. Quickcrete is one of those companies, and Randy Williams explains that helping homeowners understand what product they need for the project at hand is an important part of their job. Well, we know the consumer has a tough choice when he goes to choose the right concrete for his project, and we think it's very important uh, that if the consumer knows the right product uh, to choose, it makes his project easier. And that's one thing we've really focused on here, is educating our customers the things that Quickcrete does to uh, provide their customers the right product. And that's everything from the packaging, 1-800 numbers on the packaging, explaining exactly what that product is used for, as well as a lot of other things that we've done. We've done a complete history of uh, surveys and uh, uh, public research, which shows how people use our concrete mix. And by doing that, we can better understand what their needs and their purposes are, so we make sure we design the products for them. We have packaging that you can see up here that has uh, f uh, full color uh, instructions, as well as 1-800 numbers, complete instructions on the back. And by doing that, it makes the consumer feel confident that by picking up the bag, he can tackle the project right by just looking at the instructions right on the back. That's very important for us. It seems like all of us are trying to be more organized in our homes these days. And here at the Hardware Show, we're seeing a lot of very complicated organizational systems that work, but also we see some very simple ones that work just as well. This product from WoodLogic uses a specially shaped wood mounting rail and common dowels to create a truly flexible storage system that can be customized to changing needs by simply rearranging the dowels to accommodate different items. The simplicity makes installation easy and the cost low. 
There's no shortage of storage gadgets and devices at this show, and many of them target the garage. In fact, one company created an entire system specifically for the garage. We were throughout the country in consumer homes, and we saw that the garage was a place of embarrassment, frustration, huge emotion. It wasn't up to the level of the rest of the house. With Gladiator Garage Works, we're trying to provide a garage that is not only functional, but it's a place that homeowners can be proud of. And so we've done that with a modular design. One thing we've found is every flat surface in the garage gets cluttered. And so what we designed was a modular workbench. And you can see the modules here, where they've got the optional work surface on these modules. So when you've got a project or you've got clutter on the top of your workbench, now you've got the work surface so you can complete that project. Or if you want to take two of these modules out, they double as saw horses. All of our modular storage solutions are locking with bumpers so that you don't, uh, so you don't smash your fingers as you put them back. And they dock in place nicely. And this is what we call the beer box. So this is a modular refrigerator on casters. And what this is to do, we saw a lot of pop cans and beer cans sitting by the primary entrance to the home, the garage door into the home. And so to get those up, and the other problem with those is they're not cold. So when you want to replenish your primary refrigerator or you're working out in the garage, the mother does not want dad and the kids to come in the house. So this is a great solution. The other component of this is the gear wall. We've got one by eight foot panels. It's a patented design. Once you put your gear wall up, you've got total flexibility of storage. We've also made an exclusive design of our hooks. We've got a spring-loaded design here. So what that does is it creates a hook that attaches very securely to our gear wall. With a system like this, even my garage might get organized. Coming up, best new products. Now let's join Danny at the Home Center to check out the best new products. Brought to you by The Home Depot. Many of the tools that we feature on our Best New Products segment tend to be very heavy duty tools. There's so many projects around your home where you really don't need anything that heavy duty. So Ryobi's come up with a great idea here. Now this is not only a 9.6 volt drill, but it's also a cradle that it sits on, battery charger, and even threw in an AM FM radio to keep you entertained while you're taking care of some of those projects. Now the drill itself has a lot of features like the more heavy duty drills. Now you wouldn't want to use this for say building a deck, but so many projects inside your home is perfect for this. You have the one step to turn it from reverse to forward. You also have a variable speed drill for different type of projects you may be doing. Adjustable clutch here, easy to use, and to keep you on the level on your project, you have a built-in level right on top. Now for real handy access for your drill bits, you have your drill bits right here that you can, or your drill drivers that you can use, and when you need a new battery, you pop this one out and you have a nice hot battery ready to go. Now, this can sit right on the uh, shelf of your laundry room or your workshop bench, or you may choose to mount it on the wall. Either way works fine. And then, to pass the time a little bit, you can crank up the radio, and it makes those projects go a lot easier. And one of the best things about this, it's less than $40. Here at the National Hardware Show, one area that's always busy is the lawn and garden exhibits. And it really makes sense because homeowners are spending more time outside than they've ever have before, so it's understandable why this area of the show would be very crowded. Some of the most interesting innovations at these shows are the new twist on common tools. The folks at Fiskars have taken that approach to stick tools with great innovations for things like axes, rakes, and brooms, but their new shovel has more features than we thought possible for such a simple tool. Well, we had a lot of uh, time spent studying users, consumers, out in their gardens, watching the habits they have, um, maintenance or maintenance that they don't perform in their tools or struggles that they're having. Fiskars really focuses on um, high performing tools, so things where we can solve issues with ease of how the tool use, ergonomics, um, durability. And um, with our shovel, um, one of the first things that we, we notice is a good, a good home maintenance um, is to sharpen the edge because you want to, you're penetrating soil, you're cutting roots, you want to cut into that, but a lot of shovels 
uh, on the market today are just a stamp piece. They don't have any sharpened edge to them. Um, Fiskars is known for cutting instruments and it was a real simple thing for us to do just to put a sharpened edge on our tool. Um, the other issue we saw with, with homeowners is they use this tool like a pry bar. You know, they don't run to, to get the pry bar out. They're, they're jumping on it and they're going like this. And typically they'll either break the blade right here, we've seen a lot of that, or they'll break the handle off where the handle and the blade join each other. So our design basically is very simple, takes two pieces together, just like your car is welded together, two pieces of steel or more, um, we just weld the steel together. The final thing was um, most shovels have just a smaller hand grip area, um, which is not really uh, giving you a lot of stability. When you want to really dig in, you want to put both hands on that tool and pry back and forth. So our tools you, know, you have area for two hands, and then it's actually for two heights as well, because it's really typical, you dig a hole, there's dirt's there, you repot your, your green good, and then as you're putting the dirt back in, you can grab at a lower level now more comfortably and fill that hole back up. It's hard to enjoy yourself outside if you're being bugged by mosquitoes. So at this year's show, one of the things we're seeing a lot of, mosquito traps. The Mosquito Delito from Coleman is actually a two-part system to protect you from these pests. The first part is the inhibitor unit, which releases a scent that confuses mosquitoes, driving them away from where you are. Then the propane-powered trap unit attracts them with heat and carbon dioxide to stop them for good. Another trap on exhibit here takes a slightly different path to eliminate these pests. The Mega Catch Mosquito System uses CO2 direct. We have two models. One is a home unit which uses no gas, which attracts mosquitoes by heat, light, and texture of the uh, material used on the machine. The CO2 machine releases gas in intervals, one second, two seconds, three seconds, every one, three, or five minutes, depending on the mosquito population in your yard. We felt that going directly to the source with the CO2 is a more effective way than burning, a, burning the propane and converting it to CO2. There's no, no harmful uh, gas and no open flames. Now speaking of open flames, when I think of outdoor activities, grilling's a big part of it around my home. And when I'm at a show like this, I really get a chance to see a lot of options in grills. There are grills for almost any style or budget, but the big hit here has to be the Fire and Ice Grill to Go. It combines a small transportable grill powered by a small propane bottle with a built-in cooler and lots of other neat features to make tailgating a breeze. Now let's go outside for Around the Yard, lawn and garden tips you can use straight from the experts. Now, Barbara, these homeowners have a challenge with this sloping front yard. Uh, what do you do. suggest some of the things they should do to kind of control all of this soil? Well, Danny, it's so frustrating for homeowners when they get a really beautiful property, but it's on this steep, steep hillside, and you say, well, my gosh, what can I do with it? Right. And if you don't have, you know, enough funds to go through a comprehensive terracing system, you've got to find some way of securing the soil so it doesn't completely erode all the time. Yeah, we have that problem on some of our construction jobs, building an addition, having a slope, right. the dirt can wash right, right. out into the road. Yeah. Now we use hay bales, not very attractive in the <laughs> front of the yard. What about some of the erosion mats? How would that work Actually, in Actually, the erosion mats are great and that's, that's a permanent solution because right. it's got uh, fabric on both sides which will grip the soil and then on the top side it'll actually hold the mulch. Mm -hmm. So it's a permanent solution. You can use a pair of scissors, cut a hole in it and then go actually with your planting. But if you don't want to bother with that then you can also use um, you know a range of ground covers. The most important thing when you put ground covers on a slope like this whether it's grass where it's not too steep to mow or liriope or, liriope or mm -hmm. uh, juniper is to have a plant that's low maintenance and just very uh, hardy and with a very vigorous root system so it's going to hold that soil in place for the long haul. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's show. We really covered a lot of ground and we found some great innovative products both for the outside and inside the home. Now don't be surprised if you see some of these products show up on some of our future projects or maybe even in your own home. I'm Danny Lipford. Thanks for joining us this week.
Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Today's Homeowner. And don't forget to comment, like, and hit the bell icon so that we can notify you when new videos are posted. And don't go anywhere. Click around and continue the home improving fun.